So I'm happy to report that since our last update, Zachary Construction has achieved some major milestones of the construction of Dunlap Dam. So some of the major areas where that work has been completed is the topping of all the embankments with concrete and uh, the completion of all the structural work in the primary spillway where the gates are gonna sit. They've also completed the installation of an emergency spillway that we reported in a previous update. Now they've moved on to a milestone of installing the first of three large spill gates that'll make this project operable. And you can see behind me that the first spill gate is, is underway. That spill gate has been installed in four large sections, each of those weighing around 60,000 pounds. So it took two 150 ton cranes for Zachary to be able to lift that spill gate into place piece by piece. We're happy to see that those have now been bolted together and they're underway with putting on the seals and all the associated appurtenances with those gates. There'll be two large hydraulic cylinders added to uh, the gate in the upcoming weeks in the project that'll make that an operable uh, spill gate. So one of the things that's really unique about our dam versus some of the other dams that exist in the world is the width of the spill gates that's required. A typical dam will have a spill gate width of around 50 to 60 feet. These gates are over 85 feet wide. In order to get a gate that fit that opening, the spill gate actually had to come in four individual sections that are split both horizontally and vertically, which is a unique, a unique fit for a structure. The contractor has gotten underway with installation of a bridge that's gonna span the river channel. In the upcoming quarter, they're going to be working on finalizing that bridge. The function it's gonna serve is to provide access for maintenance activities associated with these gates in the future. They've placed some of the initial beams uh, and moving forward, they'll be installing a rail on top of that bridge. It's going to allow for a crane that'll perform all the future maintenance activities associated with these spill gates. Another thing we've been really excited to see is the dewatering system that will allow future maintenance has been test fit into the gates. That dewatering system is, is unique, also related to the unusual width of the spillway. And so the engineered solution was to install a series of panels that'll form that dewatering system. Those panels have all been test fit into the first bay so we can, and will actually be utilized for the installation of some of the future gates. So you can see that there'll be three spill gates associated with this project when it's complete. So in the upcoming weeks, we'll continue to see equipment deliveries out to the site. For the second gate, the first of the four panels has arrived and we're anticipating additional panels to be arriving on site as the contractor moves forward in the installation of the second gate. The large hydraulic cylinders that are gonna make this first gate operable are also here on site for installation.